Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, okay? So this is your love messages to wrap up this love reading, all right? I am also going to get some messages of love individually to see, you know, a little bit more guidance on this soulmate energy that I'm seeing here. What's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, Father? What do they need to know for today? What's their highest good? What do they need to know? Heartbroken um, because of somebody who was in a one-sided relationship. Maybe you were love bombed a lot here. Whatever the case may be, both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, y'all been hurt in love. You've been hurt in love, okay? And you're healing from that. Whoever this person was, I'm hearing they were controlling. They were trying to show you how how they wanted to be loved instead of accepting love, like true love, and how in its purest form, which comes like, you know, you can't tell anybody how to love you. You can accept how they love you. And I, and I mean that because love is a verb. I don't care what Webster says. We have this conversation a lot. Love is a verb and it requires some action. So as long as you're putting in the action and this person appreciates you, then that's what matters and vice versa, you know. Because when people start saying love languages and all of that, I mean, yeah, you do have a language that you prefer, but true love doesn't have or require all of that, all right? But you both are healing from a past relationship. Somebody's hurt you or scarred you real bad. And you're just now getting yourself out there again. That's what I'm hearing, getting out there again. Yeah, somebody who was gaslighting you, um, they still could be watching you here. But somebody who gaslit you a lot made you feel crazy for the type of love that you gave. So you're scared to put your all into another relationship or another thing because you're like, I mean, you're scared because it's, it's, it's a heavy energy of, I did this before, or I feel this way before. It's a heavy energy of deja vu, okay? But this is a different person. So, you know, you got to give yourself opportunity to, to love and to receive love in its purest form, like I keep saying, okay? What else does this, the, 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 uh, what else does the collective need to know, Father? We got the runner in a karmic relationship, okay? Either you ran away from a karmic relationship, okay? Because I'm hearing that some of you all have run away from, like, like I said, you ended a karmic cycle. You ended a karmic relationship. Others of you all, you know, I'm also getting from these cards. The energy here is like somebody was running away from you because of a karmic situation. So they got involved and got stuck. And they were the runner in a twin flame connection. So again, I'm talking to two different collectives here. This is kind of weird for me, but I hope y'all keep it up, okay? But, okay, so we also got somebody who ran away from a karmic situation. Some of you all just escaped a karmic situation, okay? And I'm hearing that it, it was because this person was gaslighting you, love bombing you, hurting you, putting you through the ringer, putting your money through the ringer. I'm hearing your finances were all messed up because of this person. Your trust. You lost trust in a lot of things. You, you don't even, you lost trust in yourself and your own decisions is what I'm hearing too. Because sometimes when we make bad decisions, we're like, oh, can I really trust myself to make a decision regarding that again? And that's what I'm feeling from both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in this soulmate energy in this reading here. But that's what you're healing from, okay? You're ready to take this mask on, I mean, take this mask off, all right? Because you're looking back at the old days. You're looking back at old times. You're looking back at the old lessons. And you are wearing a mask because you're like, I don't want people to see that I can't make a decision. I don't want people to see that, you know, the love here. I'm hearing somebody loves hard. I'm hearing divine masculine, divine feminine. Whoever I'm talking to today, you love super hard. So you didn't want people to see that. So when you met this soulmate, or if you're going to meet this soulmate, a lot of you all have met this person already. Um, when you met this soulmate, it was kind of hard to like show your true feelings, to show your true colors, to show love because you're like, I don't know if that's love. It is, okay? Now you're making healthier choices. Look at that at the bottom. Making healthy choices and love in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, y'all are both being happier, making better choices, and that's how y'all found each other. You know, when you start to get in a better mood, you start to attract abundance and abundant people. So you attracted this person into your life, all right? Let's get a few cards for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, all right? Let's get two for each. Divine Masculine for this soulmate energy, Divine Masculine. We got finances being an issue, like I said before, and unplug because you're working so hard. You're coming back from a loss. I can't emphasize this enough, Divine Masculine. You found your soulmate, yes, but it's time to take it slow because you're recovering from a major loss. But you can't work so, so much that you don't have time to even connect to or get to know your Divine Feminine. Just because you have that 
soulmate energy and that soulmate love doesn't mean that words don't need to be spoken doesn't mean that time doesn't need to be given so yeah financial challenges are affecting this connection and you also got working less unplug helping less will strengthen this connection as well because you're working a lot to recover something that you lost but that person excuse me confirmation the person that you met has nothing to do with that and all you're doing is robbing yourself of time you could be spending with them, okay? Because I'm seeing that you're stingy. You don't want nobody else to be hanging with them, but you also, like, you, you want to be working all the time, working and sleeping. I'm seeing a cycle here, okay? Make sure you take time to send a text, make a phone call, spend a little time, you know, because it's important. Divine Feminine. We got two for Divine Feminine. One flu. Let's see what it says. We got children are an important part of this relationship. In different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision, okay? So children may be a part of this because you might want kids and they don't. Or they might want kids and you don't. So there has to be a compromise here. Or you might have kids and you don't, you're don't. you not sure if you want to tell them about your kids or your children or whatever the case may be. You have to get on the same page with something as important as children. You got to let people know, okay, if you do want kids. I don't have kids, but I do want kids. Or I have kids and these are my kids. Or I have kids, but I'm just not ready to, you know, um, have them meet somebody else. Because just as you're getting over a heartbreak, so are they. So the kids are very important in this. Whether you have kids, don't have kids, or if y'all have kids together, y'all are, um, I'm hearing, what's that called? A combined family, shared family, what is that called? I, I, I'm not getting the word right now, but yeah, whatever the case may be, you gotta get on the same, you gotta like open up a little bit more about what you feel about children when it comes down to your connection. But as I said before, this person is here now, your, your true love is already part of your life. So a lot of you all, I'm hearing only like 5% of you all don't know who this soulmate is. Like, who is this? A lot of you all, 95% of y'all have a soulmate tie with this person, a soul connection. You remember this person. Um, you're seeing 1212 a lot. You're seeing 1221 a lot. Um, not only that, is I'm hearing that, you know, you're feeling them in your dreams astrologically uh cosmically whatever you want to call that celestially whatever okay so this is your person they are, they're part of your destiny as well so you get to choose both of you are it's not just one person's choice y'all got to get on the same page when it comes down to this but that's what i have for you all i hope this information helped and blessed okay um it was a little different than the twin flame stuff that we normally do but this is important especially for some of you all that are on this journey this energy is high today. So if you're still on a twin flame journey and you met somebody, this is your reading. Or if you're not on a twin flame journey and you just recently met somebody and you're like, oh, I wonder, are they, this is your reading, okay? <laughs> because this is um, very important is what I'm hearing. It's the reason why this energy is the highest today. Anyways, that's what I have for you all. If you would like a personal private reading, go to justdreamguide.com to book a personal private reading. Y'all know this full video will be available on YouTube. The rest of this week, I will not be doing Zodiac signs, okay? I will pick back up next week, all right? I got to catch up on some work and got to catch up on some Dream Guide stuff. So um, don't forget that my deck, the Dream Guide Twin Flame Oracle, is available, you guys. It's available on a TikTok shop. It's 100 cards. It's available on my website as well. Don't forget to cop this, all right? That's what I have for you all today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your time as usual. And I will see y'all all next time. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Thank you.